Hey guys, and welcome to my second trimester vlog. If you haven't seen my first trimester pregnancy announcement telling my family video, I'll link it down below for you to go and watch. I'm actually 16 weeks at the moment filming this. I've been pretty slack with filming updates. So I just wanted to do a quick rewind and give you an overview of the last couple weeks. Going into the second trimester, I really thought that the sickness would ease up, but unfortunately it didn't. I have been trying a few different medications so, and I finally found one that is working for the nausea. So it's rest of it, and it helps so much at just settling my stomach. I haven't vomited for a few weeks, which is really good. I've only vomited once within the second trimester, but I'm just still nauseous. And if I don't take a tablet, I feel it the next day. Still a bit gaggy, but I'm definitely getting my appetite back and I'm able to drink water, which is really helping. I'm still quite tired and fatigued. I did talk to my GP and the OB about it and they just said like, it's normal and it could just be a part of, you know, low iron, not eating, not drinking. Like I've only just started to eat and drink again. So, you know, I'm just keeping an eye on it and see how it's going. Symptom wise, my skin has actually been pretty good. The breakouts are definitely dying down, but I have started to get headaches just occasionally and a sore lower back, like it's killing me. <laughs> Week 14 was definitely a rough one for me. I got up to go to work one day. Oh my God, those crows are so annoying. And it just wasn't my day. Like the little things were just annoying me. Like my socks were falling down when I put my shoes on like underneath my heel, how frustrating. The button on my dress kept popping open because my boobs have gotten so big. And then I got in the car and my petrol light was on and I was like, that's it, I'm done. And I was just crying the whole way to work. But I was also upset because the night before I had a big teary to Clinton just about like not feeling a connection to the baby. And I was kind of beating myself up for it and just putting a lot of pressure on myself. But we had a really good chat and he reassured me that it will come. It's just a feeling that is going to pass. And so I was quite upset that night. And so the next morning I was still feeling those feelings. And then when all those little things happened, I was just like, I, I can't deal right now. And so I just had a really sad day at work. Like just, I was just like sobbing all day. Just had to come home and go to bed. But I talked to some of my girlfriends about it and they just made me feel better. And so that week we actually ended up booking a gender scan because I thought that might help me feel a little bit more of a connection knowing what the gender is because I can't wait till 20 weeks. I just can't. So we booked our gender scan and we found out on week 16 like the day of so literally only a few days ago um i will insert that footage now and you can see what the gender is if you follow me on instagram you've already seen it like i have announced it but it's still exciting hello it is the 29th of october and we are on our way to our gender scan everyone's saying i give boy mum vibes and then the consensus in the family got mostly boy and then a few girls. Did your mum have a guess? Boy. Clinton's mum guessed boy too. So we'll see. Alright, you ready? Alright, sick. Close your eyes. Okay, you can open your eyes. Ah. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> we were expecting to be a boy. Ah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> we are just so excited that we're having a girl like oh my god Clinton is so excited I just can't wait to see him as a dad like oh my gosh I just can't believe it's a girl what the hell now I really hope she has red hair let me show you my bump like damn she's popping <laughs> And my boobs are popping out too. Like, oh my God, they are just, they've got no chill. <laughs> but yeah, so the second trimester has definitely been a little bit better than the first, but I'm still feeling sick. So hopefully in a few weeks that fully eases up and I don't have to keep taking medication, but we'll see.
18 weeks and three days today. The last couple of weeks have been pretty good. I've been feeling a lot better sickness wise. Still taking anti-nausea tablets though every day because in the evenings I'm still feeling a little bit sick. So I'm too scared to not take them because that nauseous feeling is just... Ooh. The only other real symptom that I'm experiencing still is fatigue, like just super tired, especially on work days. Like if it's a work day, that's it. I'm, I'm not doing anything else. <laughs> but besides that, all has been pretty good. My belly is definitely growing. I'll give you a little bump update. So this is my 18 week bump. I feel like I'm getting pretty big. My boobs also just continue to grow and grow and grow. I need a strapless bra for Clinton's work party coming up, like this dress I'm wearing. Anyway, I tried some on 12G. Like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, it's been a minute. I'm 19 weeks and five days and I just feel like today's been hard. I feel judged by people for just saying how I feel. I feel like I'm a really shit employee at the moment because like I've cut back my days and every time my boss asks me to work, I say no. Like I know she doesn't care and she's been so good, but I just still feel like shit because it's just not who I am. Oh, I'm starting to get round ligament pain. So I just pretty much had cramps all day. I'm just tired. Like I know I just need to go to sleep. I just had a nice long bath. Just to relax and try and like ease my stomach pain. But I just, oh, I don't know, I'm just feeling a bit down. And so I don't like, I don't think I want to go to work tomorrow, which like makes me feel shit. <sighs> that I can't even commit to three days a week. But I'm just pooped, like I just am so tired. A work day kills me. Not that the work is hard and strenuous on my body, but I just literally being awake a whole day. <laughs> and like, it just sounds so stupid, but, but anyway, I think I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> I'm just at baby bunting with Clinton's mum. We're doing a little bit of shopping, looking at some car seats. So exciting! Okay, so let me show you everything we picked up at Baby Bunting yesterday and also just a few other things that I've got. We've got a cot here, which my mum got on sale for us. Down here, I've got a bunch of clothes that my sister gave me from my nephew. So we've got five zeros here, just a few. These are all four zeros. Just lots of like animal print ones that she can wear at home. A few Bonds ones, which, oh my God, I love the feel of these. I picked up this sleep assist light. So it's got like different, like red light and just soft lighting. It makes noise and it connects to an app. Oh, this stupid light has disco mode. <laughs> Let's turn that off. This is my 20 week bump. I picked up one of these baby bath seats that can go in the bathtub or in the shower with us. Um, a car seat mirror for baby monitor. I got the lollipop cam. I'll show you here, it's so nice. I went with the pink color, but this is what it looks like. But it's silicon, so you can just like wrap it around the cot, which I think is really cool. It also comes with like a wall mount. And this one also just connects to your phone via an app and it gives you alerts if the baby has moved or made a noise, things like that. We just got a few bibs yesterday. I got some of these like ice and heat breast pads, jelly kind of material, put them in the freezer. That'll keep me boobies nice and soothed. <laughs> I definitely want to try and breastfeed, so I really hope that I can. And then also for me, just got some nursing pads. Got some disposable change mats and some nappy bags. And then I got some body wash and baby balm from the Base Collective. I really like their products and they've got magnesium and lavender in them. So I just want to buy, like try a different range 
of products on baby and just see what works best, I guess. We got a box of nappies, size one for newborns. Like, oh, look how tiny that is, as if. Also got a box of wipes. Got those from Amazon for like 20 bucks. There's like 600 and, oh, there's eight packs in there. We got a few different sleeping swaddle kind of bags. So this one is the Ergo Pouch, which is this one here. So it just zips up and down. And then the arms have little, like there's little metal clips on them. Baby's arms in or out. And then I also got one of the Bilby cotton swaddle wraps. And I like the look of this one because it's got a zip at the bottom, like for changing nappies. And then it's Velcro. So you just swaddle the baby up. Again, like you just don't know. Like I don't know what she's gonna like. Will she like a traditional swaddle? Will she hate being swaddled? Will she like this? Will she like the zips? So I just kind of want to get one of everything and see how she goes. We also got a baby carrier. This is the Nuna. I got the denim color though, so I want to go back and change it for like the dark gray or even black if they have it. But this one will last newborn to three years. And then lastly, we got a swing. So this one just moves like back and forth. I think it maybe vibrates, sings a few songs, whatever. But yeah, that is everything so far. I want to start planning a baby shower soon. So I need to get on Pinterest and come up with some ideas. We just went to the doctors, checked my blood pressure and my weight, I had to get the Boostrix vaccine, which he said is like whooping cough, tetanus and something else. And then we've got our 20 week ultrasound this afternoon. So I'm just going to chill out for a little bit. The ultrasound went well. Here's her little face. There's her little booty, confirming she's a girl. <laughs> little foot shots, so cute. Look at her little feet. And this is, <laughs> this is her face. <laughs> Currently at 21 weeks. Oh my gosh. Get a load of this bump. Look at that. Oh, oh my gosh. I had a bit of a rough day or night last night. I just am feeling overwhelmed and like, I just, I can't keep up. And I'm like, how am I going to keep up once the baby's here? Like I'm not, I know I'm not. And so it's like trying to change that thinking in my mind. I just feel like there's always so much going on and I'm beating myself up because I can't do it all. And I've got extra days off work, you know, like I have cut down on commitments and I still can't do it all. And so I, yeah, just beat myself up for that. And it's not good. And it's something I've been trying to work on, but the last couple of days it's been, yeah, it's been like rearing its head again. So I've got counseling on Saturday, which will be good because I can talk through it all. And like, I've got plenty of people I can ask for help. I just feel bad asking for help because everyone's lives are so busy and they've all got stuff going on. So I don't want to be like, oh, excuse me, can you help me do this really simple task? Like, oh, I don't know, it's a bloody mind game, but I'm trying to work on it, so. I'm just making some Nutella toast. I haven't really had like cravings on. Oh. I don't know, I've, I drink a lot of juice. I've never been a big juice drinker, but I'm getting through two liters a week at this point. And like, I mix it with sparkling water. Oh, it's so good. What I really want is a damn fresh ham and salad sandwich with beetroot, cucumber, a slice of cheese, mayonnaise, grated carrot, bit of spinach. Oh, that sounds so good. I just want the ham. I want the ham. <laughs> Okay, so in other news and something I've been really excited to talk about is that I felt the baby move for the first time. I think it was the day I turned 20 weeks. I was laying on the couch just watching a movie and I was like, oh, that's a weird feeling. It wasn't like, you know, I needed to fart or anything. It was like <laughs> a gut feeling I've never had before. It felt like a little wave. So I come out and I told Clinton and then later that night it happened again. And I was like, okay, that was definitely her. And then every day since, like it's just become stronger and stronger. And it was actually really cool at the ultrasound because we saw 
her move on the screen and I felt her move at the same time. I was like, oh my God. And then last night, Clinton got to feel her move for the first time. He was like kind of freaked out. <laughs> But she's definitely getting like some stronger little kicks about her. Like this morning, she has been all over the place. It's a really nice, like a reassuring feeling when I feel her moving around. So oh, this is so exciting. 22 weeks, which is just insane. Every fortnight I've been taking bump photos. So let me show you. I am just in my bra and undies, FYI. She's getting so big. Okay, my sister has given me a whole bunch of clothes. She has a girl who is four, so these clothes are a bit bigger. Um, and then she has a four month old baby boy. So she's given me like all the gender neutral stuff. So I'm gonna go through it and see what I wanna keep. Oh, also uh, one of my other sisters brought me this little five pack of onesies. How cute are they? Little flowers, a little green one. They're so cute. This is size four zeros. So I'll organize all these sizes and I think I might go to Kmart today and get some tubs to kind of put them in and keep them separated. Okay, I absolutely love these little onesies here. So these are three zeros. I know they're probably not gonna be the most convenient because they're buttons and they don't have um, like foldable feet or arms but they are so cute i love them and look at these little overalls stop it right now okay lots of cute stuff in here first of all look at these little pink doc martens oh my god they are so cute <laughs> love them cute little crocs which they just need to clean up but they'll be good they're good yard shoes um a few pairs of like little shorts that i think i'll keep little tights how cute is this it's like a onesie so that is a size two a little flano oh my god when we went and bought our first outfit each for the baby when we found out the gender clinton wanted to get a flano but there was none on the shelves like because it's summer so this is a size two but oh my god he's gonna love that and then this beautiful jacket it's so soft it's got little ears on the hood a few other things as well but i love that i love going through like bags of hand-me-downs all right 25 weeks oh my god i feel like this second trimester is actually going so fast probably because I feel so much better. <laughs> At my last ultrasound, I'm not sure if I explained this already, but they did say that my placenta was borderline low lying. So I do have to book in another scan at 32 weeks to check on that. They didn't seem too concerned, like they're pretty sure that it will move. So hopefully it does. <laughs> I didn't really think I wanted to have like a birth plan in place because you just never know what's gonna happen but I think I wanna try for an unmedicated natural birth. <laughs> I say that now. <laughs> so I really hope that my placenta has moved because I would like to give that a go. So yeah, I need to book that in today. I need to book in my blood glucose test, which everyone says is really disgusting, but or whatever, you gotta do it, don't you? But yeah, symptom-wise, I've been feeling pretty good, like still just pretty tired. Like I get tired easily if I'm doing anything physical. We went to Stradbroke Island for Christmas and just like doing like unpacking the car, unpacking the car, lifting, those kind of things really took it out of me. But I did get to relax a lot while I was there, which was nice. And my little niece, she's four. She's just so excited to be a big cousin and like she'd, help me up the stairs and be like she'd hold my hand and say I'll help you so you're not in pain I'm like oh. <laughs> she's so cute she'd come up in the mornings and sing a song to the, her little cousin it's so cute oh my god here is my bump look at that what the hell it's getting so big Clinton calls it my beer gut because I always just like have pants on really low. It's like, how are you VBs today? <laughs> I'm finding it's like getting to that point now where it's starting to get in the way. Like, like I need to spread my legs <laughs> to do things, really getting 
off the couch is getting harder, like getting out of bed is getting harder, sleeping is getting harder. So I'm like, okay, this is just the beginning because you're about to get so much bigger. Movement wise, she's been super active. Every morning she gives me a little kick and night times especially. But it's just so nice to feel like I look forward to feeling her little movements every day. I cannot believe the third trimester is right around the corner. But besides that, the last couple of weeks have been pretty good. I feel like emotionally I've been okay. I do have certain times where I feel overwhelmed, but I just break down my tasks and think one step at a time and get through it. <laughs> Having some time off work has been really nice as well. Not that I work that often, but <laughs> it's been really nice. But yeah, I'm feeling good. No heartburn yet, no hemorrhoids yet, which I'm so scared of getting. <laughs> I'd say the only annoying thing is how big my boobs are. Like they are just ginormous and they're in the way and they're heavy and they're annoying. And I know they're only gonna like double in size when the milk comes in. <laughs> what are you gonna do? That's the joys of having a baby, isn't it? I've started like a new little Pinterest board and put a Pinterest widget on my home screen with like positive birth affirmations and body affirmations as well. Because I always feel like I've had a pretty decent like overall look at my body image I guess but now like I've just noticing like a little bit more cellulite on my legs and you know they're just getting a bit bigger and they rub together and instantly you can't help but go like oh my god like I'm getting fat which is so dumb so finding some positive body affirmations has been really good um to read and just you know say to myself that I'm growing a human like my body's doing what it needs to do. Like it's beautiful, it's working, it's it's doing its thing. How can you, oh, I think one I really liked said like, how can you be mad or dislike a body that grew life or something along those lines? And it's like, that's so true. Like how can you be mad at your body when it's literally growing you a baby? So that's been really helpful. And the positive affirmations really help me. So I like reading those on the daily. Even when I do some stretching and yoga, I've started to put on like a positive little like 10 minute breathing exercise to feel connected and just positive thoughts, you know, which this month as well, I want to look into a hypnobirthing class or just do some more research on it, see if it's actually something I'm gonna be interested in right now, I think it is. Um, so I just need to do some further research. All right, my little sister Marley has come over to help me with the nursery. We are currently setting up the cot, um, but we have run into a problem and they haven't put enough of whatever these are in the packet. So, you know, we're trying to be strong, independent women here, but- i um... already called. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's all right, we can do it. <laughs> all right, we are just smashing this. Turns out we don't even need the other missing one of these because they are to fill finger entrapment holes yes. if you're using it in cot mode um, as opposed to newborn mode. So okay. It's still like hot, it's just the wrong yeah. thing to say. Right. Two for you. Two for me. Not bad, mum, for 50 bucks. It's 50 bucks. Yeah. Tanika, there's a cot on sale at Big W. I've got to get it for ya. <laughs> so funny. The fashion is the passion. <laughs> yeah, it was. It's, I don't really have it that bad. Do you need this Allen keys way better? Oh, they're all in. Right. All right. Let's check her out. Oh, she's sturdy. <laughs> That's good. She's not going anywhere. Might hurt you back. Yeah. yeah. I thought the newborn one would be like yeah. higher. All right. We also attempted this change table because we we did the cot so easily. Yeah. We're like, we can do anything. Yeah. So we've just we built, did. right, drawers, which are really hard. So we've got one more to go. Final push. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> there we go. Okay, mm. why? Well, look, this one works. <laughs> yeah, that one works. What is it? Okay, maybe it's been doing enough times that it's. Yeah. Huh. We did pretty good, so whatever. All right, we made some good progress today. We got the cut up, the change table. We've put a few things in the drawers here. Um, and then I've put everything else I've got in the cupboard. So it is neatly put away. 
that feels so much better. So we need to sell, or I don't know what Clinton's doing with this thing. Um, and I'm not sure about this furniture, if I'm gonna keep it. I don't really like the color, but we'll see. I'm 26 and five, and I just popped up the hospital because the last three days, she's had really reduced movements. And like from everything I've read and listened to, they just say, it's just better to get it checked. And it was freaking me out a little bit last night because she usually like kicks in the morning and kicks at night and she just hadn't. Like I felt like she was starting to get a real kind of pattern going. So when it stopped, I was like, oh. And on, so today's Thursday. On Monday, I had a little bit of blood in my undies as well. Like not a lot, but that was the first time I've had bleeding. So I was like, uh. But like it didn't happen again or anything. So I just kind of left that. But the midwife just said to me like, if that happens again, make sure you give us a call. I'm like, okay. But yeah, so I just went up there with Clinton to get her heart rate monitored. And of course everything's fine. Literally as soon as she put the monitor on and then like pushed a little bit, she gave me the biggest kick. So I'm like, I've been trying to get you to kick for three days. <laughs> oh, but I'm glad she's okay. And it makes me feel better just going up there and getting checked and the midwife was so lovely as well like she was more than happy to check and didn't make me feel like stupid for going in there or anything so glad you're okay little girl 27 weeks and four days let me give you a bump update look at her what the hell i know i say that like every time but seriously get a load of that bump damn girl <laughs> I've always been like an organized person. Like I like things to have a place and categorized and all that. But I don't know if like this pregnancy nesting is like really set in because I am just ready to just go nuts everywhere. So I've already done under the kitchen sink. <laughs> I went to Kmart this morning and just got a few more containers to organize these things. I've had these ones for a while. Um, I did want another one of these, but they didn't have any. So I will get that for this stuff later but it just feels so good having it all neat and tidy. And so now I'm working on in the pantry here. So as you can see, I do have these white containers all organized, but I thought I'd try out one of these containers for paper towel because I did do like a bulk order on Amazon the other day and I can squish another one in there and they fit, fit like that as well, which is nice. So I'm gonna shove them up the top here as well and maybe just reorganize these containers a little bit. I also picked up a whiteboard from Kmart. It was only $20 and I want to put that on the wall in the pantry just here and hang up like bills or like rego, you know, things like that. But anyway, I have been feeling pretty good the last week. Um, she has definitely been moving more since I went to the hospital. Yesterday she like did not stop and I actually got some footage of her kicking so I'll insert that now. Oh my god, it's just such a beautiful feeling, like feeling her kick and then seeing it from the outside too. It's so cool. I will end this vlog here considering I am in the third trimester now. I don't know if it's 27 or 28 weeks, but look, we're around about. So I'll end this vlog here. In my third trimester vlog, I will have my baby shower because I have started planning it and set a date. I'm sure there'll be a lot more like nursery setting up and organizing too. I want to go to a hypnobirthing class. So I'll definitely talk about that. And yeah, hopefully I get to film some of the birth as well. I would love to have that for memories. So hopefully we can get some footage. But what have I got? About 12 weeks to go. Oh my God. Well, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new here, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already checked out my first trimester vlog, I'll link it down below. And if there's any other like baby related content, you want to see just let me know if you have any questions leave me a comment all right i will see you in the next one bye